Okay, first off let me express for the record how extremely excited I am by the fact that I finally got my camera to work with my computer. And big apologies, and this will be the only time you ever hear it, I hope, big apologies to Microsoft because it wasn't their fault. Actually I hadn't put the power card into the computer properly, it was sitting slightly out from the connection and that's why it wouldn't pick anything up from the camera. So. Mea culpa, my fault. Sorry, Bill Gates. Um, I've been watching YouTube news lately, yesterday and today. I just came across it. And thinking about this phenomenon of internet blogging. Because it's not actually... Well, video blogging isn't what I come on the internet for. Now, I'm a blogger, don't get me wrong. But I'm a text blogger. And I've had a live journal account for... As long as I've been in London. So about four years. I used to post to it every day, several times a day, and these days I don't really post to it that much anymore. And I never really figured out why, and maybe maybe it's because video blogging is the next big thing. Maybe, you know, text blogging just doesn't work anymore. It's time to jump on a new bandwagon. Me, I think, yes, I think video log blogging is here to stay. I think it is the next big thing. Is it for me? I don't know. I'm not the most verbal person in the world, which is probably why I don't post on my journal as much anymore. I'm a lot more secretive than I used to be. I used to be quite happy to put pretty much anything on the internet for everyone to see. And now that I'm a bit older and a bit more experienced, I'm less willing to let people into my life, I guess. But my friend video blogs, Elise Harris, um, and I enjoy watching her stuff even though I can see her in real life and listen to her talk for real. And so I'm willing to give it a try and see how it goes. And I have to use this camera for something, right? Or my dad will get exceedingly pissed off at having paid for it. I swear I will make more movies. Honest. Okay. Speaking of which, I am actually recording this on a Canon XL1S. Yes, yeah, not really the camera for video blogging. You know, I should have some sort of cheap ass webcam just hooked up to my camera. Instead, hooked up to my computer. Oh. See, this is the problem with video blogging. It's just. It's you talking to a camera and you have to, well, you don't have to get it right the first time. That's what editing is for. But that puts effort into it, you know. It's not as easy as just pressing the backspace button a few times and making sure you said it all exactly right and exactly the way you meant to. And it's just a bit too Big Brother, you know. I don't know if you guys watch Big Brother, but I loathe Big Brother with every fibre of my being. The very action of watching it just makes me want to rip my eyes out and just resign from the human race. I hate it. I hate it. As far as I'm concerned, I put the television on to watch things that I can't see in real life. I can see people being stupid in real life. I can go out on the streets of London and talk to morons if I want to. I don't want that on my TV, you know? I want to watch pretty people doing things that I don't get to do because they never really happen in real life. Pretty shiny people doing pretty shiny things. That is what TV is for. And that brings me back to the whole YouTube phenomenon, YouTube news. I came on YouTube, when I first saw YouTube, I thought, great, here's a potential for day-to-day -day people to make real content, to make their own films, to start making TV series and putting them out there for people to see. But of course, that's not what's happened, is it? What are people doing? Making video blogs, like this one. Pedestrian, boring, people talking about their normal lives, talking about their mundane thoughts. Who gives a shit? Well, obviously everyone, since everyone's watching them, and obviously me, since I'm sitting here making one. But it's not what I thought YouTube would be for. It's not what I hoped YouTube would be for. I hoped it would be a new kick up the ass of the independent filmmaking community, you know, a new chance for people to actually view their work. But how easy is it, really, to find an independent film on YouTube amongst all the video blogs and all the pictures of people's dogs playing Chopin on the piano and all the ripped off sections of TV and don't get me wrong I'll watch all of that stuff too John Stewart, Stephen Colbert absolutely great but it's not what I thought was going to happen it's not what I hoped was going to happen and I hope that at least I make an effort and try and put some real independent new interesting content out there at some point of course, I have to learn how to use my camera first, which is kind of a big step. There's an awful lot of buttons. There's a whole manual, so it might not really work out. But in the meantime, I'm going to try this video blogging thing out, since everyone else is doing it. And I am a lemming, and here is the cliff, and I am leaping off of it. Hello, world!